wears the pants in your house. I mean, if you, if you want to do it, you do it. Yeah, but it's tough. there's some biology at work here too, and I know she feels the she feels the urge to nurse as strongly as I do, maybe even maybe even stronger. I don't know. Yeah, that's a tough one, but you, know, you gotta just man up and just say, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it's my turn. I'm doing, it. you know, it's as much your baby as it is hers. So, do you think it's important to for men to breastfeed? Breastfeed? No, no they chest feed. Um, it's it's a spiritual thing for the men. It's it's a way for them to get close to the babies. I'm divorced. Got a kid. Needs milk. So I do it. Have you uh, have you been here before? Um, no, actually, this is my, my first time. How about you? Um, I've been coming for about six months. Five or six months. Six months. Yeah. Well, you must be doing pretty good. Um, the science is proven. We, we too can, can provide the purest of nourishment, mother man pride. My wife won't let me chest feed, at least not until she sees milk. She thinks that I'll be deceiving Sam, you know, with a barren nipple. Kids? No, I, I don't have any kids. Just to see my wife, you know, with our son, and having that closeness, it's just something that I wish I could experience. I walked in, you know, I used to go to the AA meetings here, and I guess they switched rooms. They didn't tell me. No one really talks to me. I've worked a lot, so I'd have that kidney just be screaming for two, three hours, and one thing just led to another, and it worked out well for us. It soothes the baby in a way that the mother is unable to soothe a baby, I yeah. think. Yeah. But so we go in there, and um, yeah, they, they all embrace me, and they, they're they all you know, doing that, and I thought, hell, why not? It's a different sauce for me. Let's get high. I've tried everything. Um, nipple creams, uh, massage, hot, cold, uh, pumps. God, I've pumped. Um, I tried the vacuum cleaner. I dog once. Uh, I went anywhere from Chihuahuas all, all the way up to a bull mastiff. Had a little damage. And uh, of course, my partner, he, he's kind of fit, and he didn't really, he was afraid he'd ruin his shape, so it was kind of left up to me <laughs> to be the one. You know, I mean, I've already got the breasts, might as well get them working, you know. I was at the, uh, the pet store, and they, one of those things, the, the sucker fish in the aquarium. So I bought some of those, and lo and behold, I don't know if it was one of those things that did it for me, but I had my breakthrough when, when I actually had one of those things on my chest. Before every time you chest feed, take the lanolin, squeeze them on your finger, rub it on your nipples. That's, uh, that's the hardest part of this, this whole process for me, is, is achieving that latch. That latch yeah, is just, tough. Just smell the honey some, all over there. Okay. Oh, some uh, not playing at all? Yeah. Okay. Just a lot of... Uh, of trying and uh, squeezing. Mm. I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, you gotta pinch it. I am. I'm pinching him on. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. And you gotta push him down. Yeah. Where? How? It's. Grab. Come on. You gotta pinch. Ben. Whoa! 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 whoa, whoa. Yep. Now push. Okay. Now push his head. All right. Go. I am. I got right, it. Right. I got this. Whoa! whoa. Okay. Don't waste it. He's good. So every time you chest feed, make sure to chest feed on both sides of your body. I'm tired of hearing about Thomas and yeah, yeah, he's in great shape and he can. Well, he's an athlete. I mean, it yeah. makes sense that he's in good physical form. He produces a lot of milk. You got? Qu I question the quality. I bet he's probably putting out chalk water. What's the quality of that milk? Have you had it tested? Yeah. I it's fine for him, he never seems to complain. Mine tops out around nine. So if you start on the left side, you empty that side, and then switch and finish on the right side. I like to use a ring. So right now the ring is on my right hand. That means that I, I ended feeding him on my right side last time, and I'll start on my right side next time. All right, well, I'd like to, to talk about some success stories. Um, you know, our, our Thomas, I think I heard you talking earlier, you had some really good successes. Could we hear about them? Uh, just check it out. I got, I got, I got a lot. If anybody's Ooh. having a rough week or whatever, I got here. Check it out. Come on, Thomas. Yeah, so this is, I, I can't do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jeff. 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 Come on. Jeff. Dude. Oh. So how many ounces is this? Jeff. 
Every week we get we, he comes in, we got to listen for half an hour about how much he's struggling, and it just goes on and on. It's like he just needs to grow up here and just get it done. You know? No, it, it's been six months, and Sam's nearly one now, and Lacey keeps talking about weaning. Well, I mean, weaning. Yeah. Well, I, that's actually not all me in there. That's 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 a cow. Uh, that's cow. What? Milk. Yeah, I I didn't I didn't want to let everybody down. I dried up like a couple months ago. It's going away. I, I don't know. She's not even wanting to feed anymore. She's just weaning herself. I'm sorry. Uh, Let's go back in. Come on. You sure? Yeah, but I, I think they'll be supportive. Yeah. And, you know, everyone has difficulties. Yeah. He's, right. he's Let's go back in. Come yeah. on. Play in France, but we get it. <laughs>